welcome to another video. Today I pose this figure because it's super poseable and it's from 3-0. Here we have Hot Rod or Rodimus Prime because they would like to call him that. So let's begin. <laughs> So, uh, Rodimus Prime is basically the Prime version of him. In the G1 movie, uh, I don't know what year, uh, he, Optimus Prime died. Many of the children that liked uh, G1 cried and left, the t and left the movie. And then this guy became a thing. Rodimus Prime. So he took the Matrix of Leadership and blah 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 blah. Story ends, and then he gets replaced by Optimus Prime in Japan. Uh, so, let's... Uh, before we talk about the figure, which is super poseable and amazing, we're gonna talk about the box. So, we move... Oh, there goes my microphone. Anyways, let's take a look at the box. So, uh, it's pretty reflective here. So, here we have Rodimus Prime, Transformers. You have the Autobot insignia, you have MGLX. 3-0 and whatever, uh, Transformers Generations. Uh, this side, super glossy, which is very nice. Cool. Uh, you have the back. Artwork of Rodimus. Some other stuff. His eyes be glowing. And my camera is doing something weird. And then he can shake hands with Optimus Prime. So yeah, I'll talk about that later. Uh, Autobot Insignia, whatever, whatever. Rodimus Prime. Yay. Done with the box. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna throw this. So let's take a look at Rodimus Prime. So let's take a look at the details of this amazing figure. So it's not based on any movie, but it is literally just combining the Bumblebee movies, uh, how the how the Bumblebee movie characters look in Cybertron, and with G1. You got this. So the so this looks very nice, really. I just don't like the chest. I'll speak of that later. So the head sculpt, as it is. There it is. It's pretty red around here because this is his uh, color scheme, basically. Red, yellow, and orange. I think those are called primary colors. I don't know. I didn't learn much about colors. Uh, the head sculpt looks very nice. Looks very G1. I have this side of the head. Very cool. The other side. Let's take a look at the back. Not much there, but there's a ventilation things. This is very nice. He has wings. This is very cool. Let's take a look at the chest. Now there's not much in the chest area and it just looks, it, it's just a flat stomach, I really don't like this, I wish they added more details, like engraved details, you know, to make it look like there's layers to it, just like the Optimus Prime from the MDLX. So yeah, let's take a look down, uh, there's a bunch of details here, pipes, which are very nice, uh, let's take a look at the back. So you have his wing stuff, which is very nice, it really does add to the back. Because this just looks terrible without the wings. It's just a terrible indentation. Let's take a look at the back. So he does an ab crunch. Very nice. It's just like, it doesn't move. So, so like this, the, the spinal cord does not move with the back, which is, I think, is a bit lazy. This is quite disappointing. But he does have more uh, movement, aside from side to side. He can do a 360 on the waist swivel. Or no, uh, something blocks it. Okay, so... So it doesn't do a full 360 on others, I think you can. I'm not sure though. Uh, so yeah, that's very nice. If you take, if you push the chest up a bit more, you can see the more details of this, There's some details inside. So yeah, and it and there just doesn't go far much forward. But it's fine, uh, not really. And just compared to the other figures, I think this is just a bit uh, not good. Let's take a look at the hand. So you have exhaust pipes coming out of here. Very nice, also if you move this, you get more exhaust stuff. Very cool, very nice. Let's take a look at the back of the hand. I still can't believe the back without the wing, it looks ugly without the wing. Very nice. Let's take a look at the other hand. Uh, this, I just, I mean, this is that. Yeah, they, they're both basically the same, so there's not much difference between both hands. Let's take a look now down at the legs. So they're pretty orange. That's what it shows on camera. If they're, on camera, it shows it's like very, very orange -ish. Maybe red. Like, maybe red type of orange. So if the camera shows that, I just... In real life, it's just a bit more uh, unsaturated. 
But it's fine. Actually, it looks nice with the when it's not that saturated. Let's take a look at the legs, the knee guard. Also, double jointed knee, very nice. You have this stuff. Maybe more exhaust, maybe some pipes, some random pipes, I don't know. Let's take a look at the side of the legs. Very nice. I really love the black with the orange trim. Very cool. So yeah, that's basically for the details. Oh wait, the wing details, right? I forgot about that. So the wing details. The, the, the wing doesn't do much. It just makes the back look much more... Uh, makes it look like it has much more density. Much more light in the back. So let me just put that back on and then we'll talk about uh, articulation. So and now we now let's take a look at the articulation. So head can look down a lot, up a lot, swivel side to side, and do a 360. So yeah, that's very nice. The hands can go up like this, and it can go forward. It can do a full 360. Can they? No, they can't because of the wing that's in the uh, area or this back piece, back section. I like to call it the wing. Uh, these move, which is very nice. I really just like them when they're like this. It gives them more power. His hand, his his elbow is double jointed, very nice. Hands on a ball joint, very cool. So then you can remove them. I put them with other hands because this guy does not have uh, movable fingers, which I think is actually good on this on these MDLX figures because they are small. And the uh, legs, not this one. This one had problems when being shipped, and the ball joint is just too small. So the so the. Uh, so the leg can go backward a lot, can go forward a lot, but but you can like shift the ball joint down to make it go forward much more and back much more. So I can do the kicks, very nice. He can go, he can do the splits, which is very nice. And same thing on the other leg, of course. His knees are double jointed. Yep, very nice, double jointed knees. His feet, they can go back a lot, they can go forward a lot. His toe can also bend, giving him more uh, posability, which is amazing about these MDLX figures because they have a lot of posability. That's basically it for the articulation. Now, let's take a look at the accessories he comes with, specifically the guns and not the hands that he comes with. He comes with millions of hands, these MDLX figures. So now the accessories he comes with. Uh, first thing, he comes with a gun, laser blaster. He comes with another gun, a normal blaster. And if you take this front piece off, you can make a very long gun with the laser blaster and the uh, normal blaster. Very long gun, or what I like to call it, sniper. Maybe they could have just made this a bit more longer. You could never have enough length. Uh, so, and uh, this, he comes with Optimus Prime's hand. I was pretty much confused. Maybe they uh, uh, put this on accident on the factory line. But no, he comes with it. So you can shake hands. Hello, hello, buddy. Hello, hello. Oh, the hands. And there's also another hand, uh, other two notable hands, which can be counted as accessories. He point. He pointing at you. And the thumbs up. Very nice. That's basically it for the accessories. Now, we're gonna measure him. And we're gonna then end the video. Just let me find the measuring tape. So let's take a look at the height. As you can see here, measuring tape. Let's begin. Uh, let me just put that where, yep, okay, good. So from the tip of the toes to the top of the head, 18 centimeters tall or Seven and a quarter inches. That's basically it for the height. And that's basically it for the episode. There's not much to this figure. Of course, because he's like, he doesn't transform. And most of his accessories are hands. But this thing is actually fantastic for posability. If you have other MDLX figures, uh, I think you should really buy this so you can like make your own battle and stuff like that. Because these things are quite nice and quite posable. My nose is now getting stuffy. I have to go, see you guys next time, and also, I did it in the, the one, of my, one, of, one of the videos that I haven't edited yet, I've deleted the ending bit, and the figure is now gone, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I will see what I can do, bye.